Destin, sweetheart, you brought your mother and I so many moments of pure joy. And you were everything that I could have ever asked for in a daughter and more. And human nature is that we do ask for more. And so my prayer for many years has been, Lord, just let me see my daughter get married. Better yet, better yet let me walk her down the aisle. And today my prayer was answered. So yeah, it does get better. And I can't wait for this next phase with John. I've known John since he was a whippersnapper, uh, um, early teens. And many of you probably don't know this story, but their relationship really got a jump start when Destin asked John out for a date. There was a dance called Snowball. So in the Norse Snowballs, much like Sadie Hawkins is here, where by tradition, the girl asked the guy out. And the cool thing about it is they've essentially been together ever since. And here we are. Destin, you've been a light in my life from the day you were born. There has been no greater honor. I almost got through this than being your father. And as you walk on this adventure with John, never forget that you will always be my baby girl. So I ask that we raise our glasses and join me in the toast. Mr. and Mrs. John Bristol, may your lives be blessed with happiness, good health, and love. I love you guys. So I got to share an experience that I had with John. Um, about a year and a half ago, I get a text from John and it says, I want to take you out for drinks. I'm like, hmm, okay, that's a little different, but this sounds fun. And so I happened to be at my son's house and uh, his, his wife, Bridget, was there. She goes, oh, he's going to ask you to marry Destin. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have some fun with this. So John comes over to pick me up in his Miata and I fold up into the passenger seat. Uh, fortunately, there was no roof on it, so that made it a little bit easier. And so we head off to a local pub and to get in there, sit down. And before I could do anything, John bought me a beer. And John, man, he's like poker face, right? Those of you know John, he's got as cool a deme demeanor as there comes. And so, come on, buddy, get on with this. I mean, if this is why we're here, let's get it going. And finally, out of the blue, no prelude, ask for my blessing to marry Destin. And it was so sweet and so sincere and genuine that all my devious plans just fell by the wayside and all I could do was humbly say, I'd be honored. I met John while visiting Dustin when we were in high school. Now we all know anyone would be so lucky to have Dustin. <laughs> she's beautiful, she's smart, and she's so fun. Meeting John, I felt so happy. Dustin found such a heart, kind-hearted, handsome, and intelligent man. She's just as lucky. So on that note, please raise your glasses for the bride and the groom. We wish you a lifetime of love and happiness together. Congratulations, we love you. probably noticed by the number of groomsmen around, John has a lot of friends. Um, I think any one of them could have been the best man today, but for some reason he chose me, so I'm, I'm honored to be here. Uh, I'm told the best man speeches typically include some embarrassing stories, so I'd like to tell a few choice college stories about John. <laughs> Sadly, I was in the library the entire time trying to graduate, but uh, <laughs> the guys around here should be able to help you out. 
For good measure, I also considered throwing in a few stories of terrible exes, but dating Destin for 14 years didn't leave me with anything. So, um, I think it's really remarkable that, that John and Destin have continued to grow together throughout high school, college, cross-country moves, and new careers. Uh, I say that especially because John has traditionally struggled to keep a hold of things, is witnessed by the almost weekly loss of his phone, wallet, and keys. <laughs> but at least he has the important things nailed down. Now by the power vested in me and by the state of Florida, it is my honor, delight to declare you husband and wife. You make us 